I'm Tara Oakland. This is news for March of 2021. I think the big thing to me is 78 Degrees of Wisdom, a audible book. So I actually have an audio book. Through its long history, the major arcana has attracted a great many interpretations. Today, it sounds good. It sounds good. What's startling to me is they did the whole thing. I mean, this looks like unabridged. We got 11 out, almost 12 hours of tarot. That is pretty exciting. I mean, this is one of the biggest books probably ever released in tarot. So, um, your yeah, 40th anniversary. Yeah. So, you want a good audio book. Here you have a great audio book. One of my problems with audio books for tarot is, you know, it's kind of hard to reference an exact um, exact thing that I want later. But if you're just looking for casual listening for 12 bucks, or sorry, for uh, 12 hours, this is a great, great, uh, a great thing. So if you're interested in audiobooks at all, pick up Rachel Pollock's The uh, 78 Degrees of Wisdom. Now we're sort of fast forwarding into the future here a little bit. Let's see, here we go. So this one is far away. This one's close. Okay. The Marseille is back with a illustrated hardcover book and a 160 page book along with a deck. You know, it looks kind of, uh, it looks kind of bad. Um, not really sure what's going on there. Um, sure. I mean, if you want to pick this up, there you go. So a book and a card deck, the book looks kind of light and small. The card deck looks okay-ish. I'm not sure if I'm going to be ordering this. Is that is that a digital mock-up of the card? But look how thick the cards look. Is that legitimate? The cards look like they're made of uh, wood or something. Or is that just me? Or is that just me? I don't know. That looks digitally made. Um, is that is that legitimate? What is going on with that? This looks like it's made of wood or something. That's really thick for a card, uh, for some cards. But yeah. Uh, anyway, I think that's a digital mock-up maybe. But if you're interested in Marseille, you want the good old-fashioned Marseille at a $24.99 price. There you go. You can go get it today. So Marseille today. Druid Plant Oracle appears to be back. Uh, sure. The number one release in Druidism uh, Druid Plant Oracle looks really pretty. If you like the Druid Craft Tarot, this goes a long way with it. This goes with it because, I mean, that is the Druid Craft Tarot that I'm staring at right here. So I'm not really sure what the Druid Plant Oracle is since they have maybe the wrong images. I'm not sure what's going on. Working with the magical flora. I mean, that, I think we got the wrong images there, my friend. I believe that that looks like the Druid Craft Tarot and not the Druid Plant Oracle. I'm not sure what's going on here. Uh, the Druid Plant Oracle, there we go. There's some images from people. And that is completely different than what I just saw. So it looks like somebody screwed it up. Somebody screwed up the preview on Amazon. Shame on you. Okay, what's next? Ancestral Tarot. This has always been an interesting thing for me is, you know, what can you do as far as the past is concerned? Can you do past lives? Can you do ancestry uh, and stuff like that with tarot decks? I think this is kind of an interesting journey into that. If you're interested, let's listen to the audio book. Unfortunately. We are unable to release a sample. Oh my, you're unable to release a sample, but you put it there anyway. Amazon's really falling down here, I gotta say. So, uh, yeah. If you're interested in this, it is 224 pages. And working with the ancestors and the person you'll find is you. So there you go. If you're interested in this a little bit, uh, a little bit unusual book there, there you go. All right. Tarot Deciphered finally coming out. You know I've been hyping this for at least six months. Esoteric Symbolism in the Modern Tarot. Now, it's written by Susan Chang, which writes a hell of a good book. If you want, if you want a good book, 
Susan Chang is going to uh, deliver a very good book. And uh, her, oh, the book that I have from her is astounding. This is almost 700 pages. 700 pages. You can get the paperback for 30, Kindle for 20. I can't recommend a Susan Chang book quite enough. Uh, and that is coming out. If you want one book this year, Tarot Deciphered is going to be it. Okay, Tarot, No Questions Asked. Another audio book, but this time it has no preview. So it says, you know, most Tarot books do card by card interpretations. It's true. It's true. This book takes the next logical step and lets you do it intuitively with the ugliest preview picture of a book that has ever been made. That is downright ugly. That is but ugly. I'm going to say now. Anyway, uh, the audio book is coming out. It says some people say it's so, so bad. I don't have it. But uh, other people say buy this book. I'm not sure, you know, I'm not sure what's going on with this. But that is one ugly preview. So, you know, hot tip. If you're going to release a book to Amazon, make sure that you, uh, make sure that it looks decent as far as the preview goes. Sacred Hags Oracle. The name itself kind of turns me off a little bit, not going to lie. Uh, 56 cards turns me on, though. It looks nice. I have cards that look similar to this. I'm not sure if I'm going to get this or not. The, the Sacred Hags. Um, maybe you'll enjoy this. I'm not sure. But it is 40 freaking dollars for 56 cards. Ouch. That hurts. That hurts. That hurts right in the groin area. Divination and the, well, with the Sacred Hags. So if you're interested in this very high priced Oracle deck, it is going to be here very, very soon. Very, very soon. So definitely pick it up if you like hags. Even more if you like sacred hags. I'm going to say the Archangel Oracle cards, though, is only 44 cards and it is 20 bucks. One number one release. Everybody likes some angels. And that is, a, that is some cute images. It doesn't really sort of pull me in or make me want to buy it. This doesn't scream buy me right now, which with, with, you know, with as much competition in the Oracle section of the Amazon, you would think that it would pull me in a little more, but it doesn't. Diana Cooper did a decent job. I think it looks pretty cool, but not something that, I mean, I'm just going to pick up, just me personally. And then we have the Shaman's Dream Oracle. Now, this is different. This is number one release in shamanism. And we've looked at this before, and this is downright pretty. 64 cards. 64 cards. And it looks really good. It looks really, really good. This is, this is one of the decks that is going to be difficult for me not to buy. I, I really... Hesitant to pick up Oracle decks at this point, but they did a knockout job on this one. Just really, really good looking deck here. And 26 bucks, it's not too bad. Again, we're getting uh, quite a few cards here. So if you're looking for just the sheer number of cards, Colette Baron Reed doesn't disappoint, that's for sure. Um, 64 cards is so great. Now it is Colette Baron Reed. That says that it's going to be maybe heavily laminated. It's going to be hard to shuffle. I'm, I'm not a big fan of the thick lamination for Colette, Bowen, uh, Colette Baron Reed's decks. Hay House has a habit of just really just slathering that on. So we'll see how bad it is. The Good Karma Tarot, the beginner's, guard, beginner's guide for reading the cards. So this is kind of an interesting thing here. The pack includes 78 major and minor arcana and a 144-page book. The Good Karma Terra. This looks really cute. I like it. This is so sort of um, relaxed and fun. It looks diverse. I like it. It looks very cute. The faces look a bit generic. 
but it's cute. Um, yeah, there's been a lot of similar decks out last year and this year to the point that I'm not really sure I'd be like super interested in this, but if you are, that's coming out in April and it does look pretty good. Archangel Fire Oracle cards also coming out. 25 bucks. Um, this looks uh, cute. Again, a lot of angel, a lot of angels coming out. Quite a few angels coming out. Uh, yeah, Ariel, Strength of Heart and whatnot. If you're interested in the angel, I would say the next five, six months is gonna be your is gonna be your time that you can get a lot of this stuff. So uh, definitely go for it if you're interested in that. I'm kind of getting burned out on the angel thing. Alice in Wonderland, we're going way into the future here. Alice in Wonderland, Tarot Deck and Guidebook. I'm, I'm hoping that this is as good as I think it may be. Uh, final cover to be revealed, yeah. So Minerva has gotten on my nerves with the miners. I haven't been a stranger to, the, to complaining about the miners. So we're going to see once this gets a little more solidified how it looks, but I'm kind of worried. I did pre-order it though. Uh, more angels because we can't have more angels. We can't have enough angels. Rodley Valentine is back with the Guardian Angel Messages Tarot. So I liked his other deck. It looked great. I like the art. I like the messages on the bottom. We'll see about this one. I'm very hesitant to order another one because there's only so many angel decks that I really need. Hip Hop Queen's Oracle was just announced for November. No title yet. Reasonably priced at, um, at 23 bucks. Not sure how many cards it's going to get. They may not tell us. No, no, no. 52. Oh, no. It's a collab. Uh, 52 artists got together and made it. Collab decks are kind of iffy because you never really know what you're going to get. Empath activation cards coming November 9th as well. Not really sure. I don't see a lot of stuff going on here. Let's skip over. Let's skip over to what's coming new, what's coming soon. Star Dragons Oracle cards. Now this is from Paolo or Paolo uh, Barberi. Barberi. Not really sure how to pronounce this. Uh, this person did kind of disappoint me with some of their other decks that only had like 30 cards. I think that the person makes a good deck of cards, but there's not a lot of cards that come with it. So I'm kind of, yeah, I'm kind of holding my excitement until I see how many cards are here. Of course, it does look amazing. All of his cards look great, but I really need more than 30 cards in a deck to be happy. To be happy, to be content, for my life to be complete, I need more than 30 cards in your deck. We have some of these others we've already done. The original, 1909, the Symbolic Tarot of Worth, Pagan Cats, New Visions, Valentina. We've all seen these before. Just kind of in a holding pattern uh, to get some of these. The main thing here is the Advanced Tarot Book and the tarot deciphered so these are coming out like right after each other so pretty excited about the advanced tarot and tarot deciphered more tarot deciphered than anything else over at us games we have the tarot decorative is still the headliner here i did pre-order it and i'm waiting to get it it is going to be sometime in the next few months to get that all right so let's hop over to the next big thing, which is going to be Kickstarter. The Luna Tarot deck. Now, this is pretty popular on Kickstarter now with 432 backers. It does look really good. This looks cool. It looks great. Um, I didn't back it. This is not really... It's basically because of art style. This kind of art style is just not my style. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying that this is not my kind of deck that just turns me on and draws me in. It does look extremely attractive. And the borders are pretty minimal. And I like the sort of the loose style, the loose borderless style of it. It looks fantastic. But again, the art style is just not me. Um, it is 48 bucks. 
for the early bird and it does take a year to come out a year you will not get this until march of next year which is quite a delay quite a delay indeed all right now we got the hybrid tarot which is coming which is coming soon now this looks good I've talked about this before in some of the videos with christina where we're looking through it looks really pretty it does it looks very attractive I mean, the, you can tell this person put a lot of work into this. Lots and lots of work and thought into this. And it, you can tell. You can tell. So you got a 64-page booklet. Um, but yeah, it is the hybrid tarot. 57 backers. I'm kind of shocked that there's not more backers for this. Just given the, the graphical... Uh, excellence that I'm seeing on the screen. I'm kind of startled that there's not more. I clearly don't know what makes a good tarot deck. The Joy Seekers Tarot, 242 backers, a few hours to go. It does look pretty. It does look pretty. Minimalistic, yes, but pretty, absolutely. This is so, so attractive. Uh, and what was the what was the, it was 60 bucks. So 60 bucks, about $62. And, you know, you could get three mass market decks for this, but it, it looks pretty. It looks cute. Okay, another Kickstarter that I liked and I backed is the Feline Marseille Tarot Deck. Now I know I'm getting a tarot deck with this one. I don't have to read through and try to figure out what I'm getting for my money. I don't know. But this one I do know. And they did also add. By the way, they added another, another color. They added another color. So let's go look at the other color. The maroon deck. Ooh, that is very professional looking. Not my style. The pink deck looks a little more like my speed. But uh, yeah. The pink deck looks like more my speed. So anyway, they, that is, this is such an exciting thing. I can't wait to get this. Actually, I'm just really excited to get this. And it is coming out in June. So I'm pretty hyped, I gotta say. The White Fly Tarot. Apparently, so they said that they're shipping this almost immediately, which is good news because it looks like they have most of the cards finished. So it looks really pretty. Very cute. I love the court cards and I love the miners and I love me a good set of miners and that's what I'm getting. A good set of miners, a pretty set of miners. I can't wait to get this. Coming out next month. Go back this. You will be happy. How much did I pay for this? I paid, I paid about 40 bucks plus shipping, about 50 bucks. Okay. A couple of things that are hot right now that I'm not going to get, but I'm going to show you, is this. That's a lot of back 532 backers? That's a lot of backers. Not something that I want in my collection. But, uh, I mean, you know, that, that's okay. That's okay. A lot of people like it, and I am supporting you for liking it. And another one that I'm not getting, but it has, it looks pretty decent, is this one. Uh, it's very cool looking, very ethereal, very ethereal looking. It's sort of haunting type feel, but um, yeah, very cool looking. So if you're interested in this type, go back this. Very sort of creepy. Um, you know, this would be good for just like haunted readings or something like that. So it's a dark art deck and a book. If you want this... This looks, paperback and book and card deck, this looks like 30 bucks. 35 cards though, ugh. I, I don't support anything under 50 cards. I really don't support it. Okay, another one, Masculine Archetype. Almost 500 backers. It looks really kind of cool. It does, I like sort of the hand getting the water. I like the sovereign, the warrior, the father, the lover, the wizard. I think it looks pretty cool. It looks very nice. So there you go. If you're interested in this type of deck, 
it is available to you at um, let's see what is the price for an actual deck 38 bucks um, yeah 38 bucks is not bad if you're interested in this not bad at all anyway that is the news thank you for watching and we will see you next and the rumors are true did you know I had a Patreon. A Patreon is where you can support me. If you like the work I do, if you like the things that you see on the channel, consider supporting me. What do you get, you ask? By the way, 51 patrons. Oh, wow. Thank you so much for all of your support. Everybody on screen is a Patreon supporter. Thank you, and thank you again. I cannot tell you how much your support means to me. I greatly appreciate that. Now, why are they there, you ask? Well, you get all the handouts from all of my projects. So if I have a handout for the collabs or the Tarot and the Seasons, the Selling Your Tarot on Kickstarter, Psychic Fair Secrets, all of the handouts, all of the cheat sheets, you get it all, including all of my books that I've written, the Tarot Oracles book, Echoes of Nature book, and the upcoming book that I have for the Waterfall Tarot deck. In addition, you get the fluffy Virgo Lenormand and all the Lenormand cloths are all included. But the best part, one of the best parts as well, is I teach you how to draw. So if you're interested in drawing stuff, if you're interested in getting pet portraits out the window, I teach you secrets on how to do that in like four to five hours. You can draw the animals you see on the screen. I have secrets to how to do it super quickly. I have super quick method to where everything you see on the screen was done in four to five hours. What can you do with this? You can go to your local Facebook groups and sell it. You can go on Etsy and sell pet portraits and make some pretty good cash. I mean, on Etsy, just by the way, this is 15 hours, 15 to 20 hours of information and actual instruction. I show you all of the pencils to use, how to use them, all the techniques step by step, nice slow manner. And again, this is only four hours work. I mean, you see people on Etsy doing um, realistic pet stuff. They're charging over a hundred bucks. So, you know, if you're interested in this, if you're interested in cranking this out in like four hours, then uh, definitely see my course. My, my, my actual pets look better than that. My, that's, that's kind of, I mean, that is like a three-hour job there for me. Um, but yeah, the actual pets look better than that. I mean, can, look at that and compare it to that. I mean, mine look better. I mean, I'm just saying, mine look super realistic, and I only do it four to five hours. Anyway, thank you for supporting and watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, we'll see you next time.